All right, so here we are. 120,000 degrees. <gasps> Oh, excuse me, degrees out today. The concrete truck guy's like, no, nah, there's no way I'm gonna be able to make it down your guys' logging road. He said, I got about 60 some thousand pounds on. I was like, yeah, we're not gonna do that. He started down it and it started kind of going off the side a little bit. I don't need another headache. So I put it all in the bucket and tracked it down, all the concrete. I got six yards. Let's see how we did here. That's the coupler that's covered and locked in together. That's good to go. Anti-seep collar completely poured in under and over Around the tank completely sealed packed and I collared it in around the outside so it wouldn't move anywhere Try and get down over there Oh, I can concrete my face and dirt There's a tube coming out. I'll bring concrete down tomorrow broken up concrete like riprap. Put it all around that Let it do its business from there. I'll probably widen that a little bit so i can lay some more concrete in there let all the water go down there when the lake fills tomorrow this thing gets compacted with clay it's practically almost hard enough i could probably do it right now this thing's pretty solid um it all came out great actually pretty amazing but anyway like i said i poured all around there seamed it all nice around it Ooh la la and up here Collared all around it, then around the pipe, down on the bottom, put some in the bottom, and that should stay forever, hopefully. So it is done. It is ready to be filled, compacted, and ready for water. So tomorrow I'll bring in, tomorrow morning I'll come in, get on 321, pull this dirt in, pack, 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 start pulling dirt from over there. On here, pack, 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 put it all back up to the, the dam height and wait for water. It's done. Done, done. Pretty amazed by how well this came out. I just kind of guesstimated on six yards. Um, six yards was about perfect. I guess I probably could have used seven, but uh, it's perfect. Um, that's pretty much it. And we're that far away. This thing is nice and level. So the height, like where the excavator tracks are to here, if I want to, after like a year of this thing filling up with water and doing its thing, I'll put another ring on here whoop, to bring it up. Way over there is the anti, or the, uh, not anti, the mercy overflow. So that is actually lower the dam than it is here. So, I'm sorry, higher down there than it is here. That way, if this ever gets clogged or this can't handle the water volume which i really would hope so i think it's freaking massive four foot inside diameter 24 inch pipe going through it should be able to handle everything i got but anyway that will overtake the water and take it and get it away from going over the top of the dam so here we are the dam is finished except for packing this part in that'll be done tomorrow i'll clean this bank up a little bit maybe while i'm here while i'm packing that in um, then after that, it's nothing but seed, straw, fertilizer, and water. Lots and lots and lots of water. I still have the other dam up there to finish. I'm just waiting on one pipe. I get one pipe in, stick it, forget it. Take that little pile of dirt there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Little pile of dirt there. Fill it all back in. Compact it. Sham wow, it's done. So Lake Lawson is pretty much on the verge of being done. It's supposed to rain, I think, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm going to get a deer camera down here, put the deer camera probably there um, on that tree so I can watch and see how do like a time lapse of how much it fills up. Uh, maybe I'll take another deer camera and put it over here somewhere so it can kind of cross watch, I guess. I don't know. In case maybe one doesn't film, the other one will. Ugh, concrete in my mouth. Anyway, quick tip you probably can't see it, but right somewhere around there. Uh, there's that. Um, there he is. That little guy right there is a tadpole. That tadpole has a red tail on it. And there's a million of them around here. So I looked it up on Google. I'm like, what's up with our red-tailed tadpoles? Here it is. Oh, there's a little one right there. Right here in front of me. I'm going to hold still enough. But there's one, right? 
There. Anyway, they are called gray something tree frogs. So they're actually like toads or frogs. These are tree frogs. And there's like hundreds of them in here. They're everywhere. Thought that was pretty neat. So there's your uh, educational segment for the day here for Lake Lawson. And I am almost done with the overflow. Thank God. I'm ready to do another one. This is actually kind of fun. I like doing this stuff. But I am ready for a drink, shower, and some food. So, come back here tomorrow. I'll finish this up and we will be done. Thanks for watching, everybody.